Welcome to the Shortwave Radio Channel, and um, I have a little tip for those of you that have long wires, and maybe the radio is overloading too much. Of course, radios, a lot of them have RF gain, or they have switches to attenuate the signal, and that can be used, definitely, works well. But in cases where maybe there isn't that capability, no you know, ability to lower sensitivity, or if you want to try to find another way to attenuate without always playing around with these buttons, remember one thing. When your long wire gets into the radio, what you could do, instead of plugging it in the um, portable directly, you can actually just take the telescopic antenna. And that wire that you have, you might actually just want to like twist it like this around the antenna. And sometimes what I'll do is I'll collapse it a little bit so that it, it stays twisted around. This actually will also work when you have an antenna, a long wire antenna. It will actually work in a way that is actually coupling. We call it coupling. Why? Because there's no physical direct metal to metal contact, but the insulated wire will still bleed some signal into the telescopic by coupling. And that is going to work well. And if your radios overload easily, this might actually fix the overloading problem. It's still going to give you better reception, but instead of overloading the radios all the time, it might be just fine because the fact that it's not directly connected to the radio, there's less signal that goes into the radio than when you actually couple like this. So this could be an interesting test. Medium wave also. Uh, a lot of these radios have medium wave internal ferrites. You might have a long wire antenna, something that you've built. You're wondering, how could I maybe, and, and this goes with a lot of receivers that don't have antenna inputs. And a lot of receivers also where the antenna input doesn't work on medium wave. You can also couple by actually winding the radio itself with the wire like this. So if you have a lot of wire, you make two, three, four, five, ten, twenty 10, 20 turns around the radio itself. And that will actually couple with the, tele the uh, internal ferrite that uh, most receivers have. That can help in actually also coupling medium wave signals or long wave signals that are used or that are actually received by the internal ferrite antenna. So these are all little tricks that you can use if you want to try different things um, in case of overload or just try to couple um, the, because, uh, you know, that, that antenna, that wire that you might have outside, for example, it actually kind of radiates part of that signal that it's actually getting from the short wave, long wave, or medium wave band. That's why coupling works. It actually will kind of radiate part of what it's getting into the receiver itself. So these are all little tricks that you can try and see if it works. And once again, you know, experiment. Experimenting is part of the fun of radio. Um, trying different things. See what happens, what works. And uh, just have fun. I think uh, part of that is fun. Um, I did a lot of that when I started listening to shortwave, having fun trying to, you know, find different ways to put the antenna outside and, and put it differently, you know, vertical or horizontal or, you know, longer, shorter, what actually works better. Um, try everything, especially if you're in a noisy environment. Uh, you might find a sweet spot. You might find somewhere where actually it's a little better and, and enjoy more of the shortwave signals. Uh, that are out there. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.